Welcome to round three with Eldrazi, where we are going to join our opponent in a mulligan. This one, though, this one's good. Let's see. What am I actually looking for here? Like, another land wouldn't be terrible? Not getting wastelanded would be fine? The foiling on this card, there's just so much dead space. Uh, warping Whale. How do I feel about a Warping Whale? I'm okay with it, actually. That's definitely in the range of stuff I'd want to keep. I think I just want a Thorn here. I don't really know what my opponent's doing, but Scalding Charn usually implies non-creature spells. If I get dazed on the thorn, that's fine. They brainstorm in response, that's also fine. Uh, getting dazed is fine. My opponent plays Delver. I think I'm supposed to do two things. Trying to think if I oh well that kind of makes me want to play around the second days. Um, how much work am I putting into play around the days here? Not a lot actually. Yeah, it's not a goif. Hmm. Don't need to whale just yet. Lead on this. If it resolves, I get to bait through days. What does my opponent have? <sighs> so they're rug or teamer. They don't have a goose. Why would they need two mana up? What is their hand? What do they keep? Okay. Mm. One, two, three, four. I endless one here. I kind of, you know what? Well, if I guess my opponent would go, if they'd probably play it last turn. Goyf's a four five. I'm trying to figure out if I'm supposed to hold the endless one and play it as a card that's bigger than Goyf, or if I'm just supposed to jam. I think I'm just supposed to jam for four. I feel like if my opponent had a Goyf, it would be in play right now. If they have another Daze, then that's fine too, because then they're not using it on my Endbringer. What is it? Force of Will? Maybe they had kept like an all counter spell hand against me? Those hands are always like the worst hands out of Delver, though, because like they just fall apart so easily in the face of anything that's just like trying to do fair stuff. This card's not the best in this deck. I put in someone with Crystal Vein earlier, and that was like really. They do have a Goyf. I was wrong. I 
think that playing around days here is worth it. It doesn't really cost me anything. I get to leave up Warping Whale too. My opponent's last few cards are blue card force. That's kind of obnoxious. Hmm. Well, that's fine by me. Um, if they attack with Goyf next turn, I just take it. Endbringer's just such a house. If I play Ponder, I counter it for sure. Definitely do not offer the trade of this for Goyf plus Bolt at all. Endbringer's just too good for that. I am supposed to make this... So I'm supposed to falter this here on my turn and attack for four using the city. And then on my opponent's turn, pay two life to draw a card. Excuse me. Uh, potentially if they don't do anything. Just good old greed. Yeah, Crystal Beam is actually pretty awesome. And then cut down on City. Well, City is also just really good, too. I don't know. That's fine. Nine. I, th uh, I can cash this in for two life. Or for, sorry, for three life. Yeah, I don't mind that. It lets me continue using my Ancient Tomb for things. Gosh, it even auto makes the cute Scion. Look at this one. It's all purple and poofy. Well, five damage is clearly the best thing this Endbringer is doing this turn. Um, unsure if I'm supposed to shoot my opponent or not here. I think I just take. Five is not enough. If I went to six, that's when I would be preventing damage here, but I think just shooting things is good. Okay, well, this card's fine. We just played against this matchup. Those ones are bad. This card's good. That card's good. That card's good. This card's good. Hooray. Easy enough. Cool. Hope I play Chalice on turn one again. Yeah, so I'm currently, so this is my 10th match with the deck, and I'm 7-2. Losses being to a mirror where my opponent played Umazawa's Jite, and to lands. Wins against two elf decks, a green ancient tomb deck that I just, I don't, I don't even know, I killed all this stuff. Basically a list from the Dig Through Time era, and, ooh, this hand's great. Let's see, those, and then I played against a... What else have I played against? Stuff on camera, so two Delver decks, uh, a Sultai deck. I think I just want to whale that. Uh... Resolving the Chalice first is actually pretty huge. I do get really punished if that flips, though. This was loose. That's an acceptable trade. Hopefully I don't get brainstormed on upkeep. 
I guess in my card's getting forced regardless. Why did I have priority and then my opponent get priority again? Oh, okay, because they didn't flip. That's why. Okay, so Goyf's in play, I th think. So it's a three. I don't really want to waste anything, so I think. Take like one more hit. Off of it. yeah, three power goy putting me to twelve for one or one hit's probably fine through this. So I probably have to play a five power endless one next turn. I think I want to city into that too because I don't really want to take a ton of ancient tomb damage. I guess eight's kind of... I, I don't have a lot of Ancient Tomb activations left in me. Choose the sh... Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is play Wasteland and Exile the Delver. Uh, yeah, that's still right. My goal is to just play something painless next turn. That was a four-power goif because of the Ponder. And then presumably if I play a six power uh okay, mongoose, not a huge issue yet. Graveyards are still small. Four cards right now for my opponent. So Oh, that's not how you do that. You do that like this, and then your thing can't be countered. Yeah. So that should stabilize me, kind of. Probably getting bolted, going to two. My opponent can draw, like, basically anything to kill me? No? Okay, I'm okay with that. What is my opponent's last card? Like a stifle, then? Days? Uh, another goif? That's a problem. Um, so I think I want to play the city here. So I'm, I'm going to have to play the seer and chump with it next turn. Which kind of sucks. Okay. I'm fairly certain I got to KO that Volk Island as soon as possible. Uh, maybe not. You know what, actually, as to, uh, yeah, I don't want to let my opponent draw a card. That could bolt me. So I go block, block, go to four? Or I could go block, block, go to one. That's actually way better. Going to one against no red. So if my opponent attacks with these two, I just block, single block, go to one, right? I'm okay with that. Shots off this, but whatever. Giving them a car, yeah, 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 going to one is fine. Then I just gotta hope to draw some smashers or whatever in a row, or an ember, uh, not an emberinger. Oh, well, yeah, going to one is great here because then I can make actual attacks. Cool. Oh, there are no creatures. Okay. Well, uh, sure. I don't think there's a counter my opponent can play for that mana. I guess I should have done something about it, but this is a daze. Sure, I'll pay.
My opponent could have done the same thing to protect a card, or they actually um, actively want to. Uh, is there an argument for this? My opponent draws a card that puts them on two draw steps to hit something to get out of this. Kind of like this. Puts my opponent to dead on the next attack. Gives them the least amount of time. I don't really want to get into a top deck war in this spot with two bricks in hand against an opponent who can draw into like brainstorms and ponders. <sighs> and this gives them the least amount of time to get out of it. Yeah, they could. So the the daze thing I'm saying, they can still daze the um, the smash the uh, or the seer, um, and the reason they would do that is that they can put a land back into their hand and then brainstorm it away later, if the game takes long enough. Shuffle, please. No shuffle. That's really bad for me. Well, locked into blocking. Yeah. Six. So, oh, well, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, I was going to die to that anyways based on the setup. Like, if I don't attack and force my opponent into that spot, they're going to have two turns to get to that bolt anyways. Okay. That's not keepable. It's also not keepable. If this was a tomb, this hand would be keepable, but I think otherwise, no chance. Like, you can't trade any of these for any land, non land, or trade this for any other land but tomb and have this hand be keepable. A, I guess, no, city? I would keep it with a tomb or a city because of the warping whales. You can actually, like, Whale into a token, whale into a token, and then cast something. This is just the first hand. I guess this has a scry. Yes, please. Well, I have a plan. So far, plan executing perfectly fine. Hopefully, my opponent kept a non Delver hand. So they kept six, and did they scry to top? Or I don't know. It's just like completely out of my control. They kept on top. Wonder if I'm supposed to wasteland. This is the Delver. No, this looks like it's a Delver. Oh, this is a probe. This is a probe. I really want to fire this wasteland. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, absolutely. There's no... Okay, yeah. If this is a probe, they don't have a Delver. Um, they're probably trying to get to a Goyf. Uh, that deck's notoriously light on lands. Like, they've mulliganed. I'm just firing. Also, like, if I can just trade time, my hand gets better faster than my opponent's because I have so few cards. Like, um... This is not an attrition matchup. This is a matchup where, like, 
the things I actually cast matter. And as a result, like me just having, me going from like, you know, one spell I can cast to like two or three is really big, whereas my opponent going from a bunch of cards to slightly more a bunch of cards, whatever. Oh well. Uh, so I would like to lead on Temple, so I can't get uh, I can't get dazed any. Anyway. Well, I'd like to lead on Temple, so I can actually cast my spell because I have a thorn in play. So if my opponent flips, I can blow it up. If they don't flip, I can blow it up. If they play Goyf, I play Endbringer. Yeah, there's actually no reason for them to reveal there. They get an extra damage this way. And then I have to immediately... like, I They get an extra damage, and then I have to use my Ratchet Bomb before my next turn anyways, because if they flip... like, I can't just not add a counter and just keep taking a damage um, to leave Ratchet Bomb in play. That's pretty loose. And then if I add the counter, I have to kill their Delver before it flips. <sighs> That's obnoxious. What are they doing for their two? Oh wow, they they've made a huge mistake. They they don't know. Oh, they don't know about this card. They proed me on one. Oh boy, this is this is not going to end well for them, right? They probed and then I played the. Yeah, yeah, they don't. Uh, yeah, and then once I play the. Endbringer, I'm actually in a spot where I, I don't even add a counter to the Ratchet Bomb, right? Because it's better to potentially... So, the reason I don't add a counter to the Ratchet Bomb here, uh, if this flips, I just nuke it for zero. I guess it's like guaranteed to flip because they just pondered and they chose not to shuffle. Uh, and I guess I could in theory get stifled. So let's not get stifled. Oh my gosh! I clicked horribly wrong. Oh, that's a disaster. Uh that's awkward. So I'm gonna do ten. This is gonna have to hold that off. What is my way out of this one? This is pretty important. It gives me plus two mana effectively because I never want to tap this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just millions of mana. If there's a Goyf being played here. That's a problem. If this is a dismember, that's a huge issue. How did this not flip? So befuddled. What was my opponent drawing? Oh, man. Well, let's. Uh, oh, yeah, they don't have mana up, so I can just do this. Uh. 
That doesn't matter. Fork bolt doesn't matter. Goose in th theory could matter. So I'd be up a life. Let's draw a ratchet bomb. One turn to do so. Four life, I'd be at ten. Opponent will go to nine. Yeah, I think if I don't misclick on ratchet bomb, I just win this game pretty easily. Nine, seven, five effectively. Four, or five, two, eh. Actually... It's not that simple. I think that would have done it actually. So I definitely just misclicked out of that. Um, unfortunate. Time for some more matches.